Ukraine is on high alert for possible North Korean troops entering the war as early as this week, marking the first time another country's army has intervened in the war. Senior Ukrainian intelligence officials told the Financial Times that about 3,000 North Korean troops had been transported to the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. Notably, the contingent was transported in civilian trucks. One official said only a few hundred of the 3,000 were special forces, with the rest being regular troops. On Monday, they were placed in barracks, about 50 kilometers from the Ukrainian border, where they awaited further orders from Russian commanders. The report says, the deployment of North Korean troops is expected to strengthen the 50,000-strong Russian force that has stepped up efforts in recent days to retake Russia's Kursk region. But Ukrainian intelligence is questioning the combat effectiveness of the reinforcements. They have never left their country before. They have never been in real combat, and their experience is very far from the realities of modern warfare. A Ukrainian intelligence official noted that North Korean troops had only recently seen for the first time the various types of killer drones that have become commonplace on the battlefield. Ukrainian officials also believe that North Korean soldiers could be used as cannon fodder by Russia. Have they done trench warfare before? I doubt it, said another Ukrainian intelligence official. Scott Boston, a senior defense analyst at the RAND Corporation, said the tactic of using North Korean troops in Russia's war against Ukraine would discourage Pyongyang from sending more highly trained fighters. At the same time, defense expert Yang Wook from the Asan Institute for Policy Studies in Seoul questioned the advisability of such a strategy given that joint offensive operations require coordination between Russian and North Korean soldiers. The North Koreans won't be able to speak Russian, and the two armies will have very different strategic cultures, so coordinating with them as disposable troops would be very risky and difficult. If I were the Russian commander, I would use the North Koreans for defensive operations, which would require much less preparation time, he explained. One Ukrainian official commenting on the likely use of North Korean soldiers as assault troops said they would be at greater risk of being captured. This, in turn, would undermine Moscow and Pyongyang's objections to North Korean involvement in the war in Ukraine. Russians on Wednesday commemorated the millions of people sent to prison camps by the late Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin, marking the day of victims of political repression, the anniversary of the so-called Great Purge of 1937. A service was held and candles lit at the Church of New Martyrs and Confessors, at the Butovo site south of Moscow, where firing squads executed thousands of people during the height of Stalin's purges. The Butovo firing range was used for executions from 1930 until after Stalin's death in 1953. Some 20,000 people, including priests and artists, were killed there in 1937-38 alone. In Russia's far eastern city of Magadan, mourners gathered at the Mask of Grief monument for a commemoration ceremony, where names of known victims were read out. The monument is located at a former transit point through which all prisoners were sent to the camps of the region. A campaign of massive political repressions which occurred in the 1930s affected various parts of society, diverse ethnic groups, and different professions, from peasants to high-ranking government and military officials. Modern historical studies estimate a total number of around 1 million of purge deaths in 1937-38 alone. The reprisals continued almost unabated until Stalin's death in 1953. Федор Павлович, Джаков Владимир.
Владимир Алексеевич. Янчик Григорь Карлович. Епифанов Алексей Иванович. Яраулин Николай Ильич. Ергин Георгий Филиппович. Брат моей мамы был репрессирован в 1938 году. Он был арестован и с момента ареста и до исполнения приговора всего месяц прошел, как его не стало. Ему 25 лет было. Родителям, родственникам не говорили, просто его арестовали. Ну, как обычно, тогда вы арестовывали молча. Вот. Ну, так догадывались, что ну, сказали, что не ищите его нет. Такой день который для... Он сложный. Он сложный, и количество людей, которые погибли здесь, оно просто огромное. Вот. Хочется почтить памятью этих людей, эту дату. В области неразрывно связано с сегодня одним из таких дней. Thank you.